Hey guys, this is Brian again from PNB Homesteading. Wanted to give you the update for the large grow tent and uh, show you that I got it. We've got our first sprouts of the uh, eggplants. So let me grab the camera, show you over here. So this upper trays, you can see that I didn't get them pulled out of here and put outside. I've been working on the house remodel this weekend, but uh, this tray here is going to go outside as well as this one over here for these beta salad mixes or beta chard, whichever ones these were. And then I'm going to redo these trays with the probably, uh, I think in the kale. I'm going to do the Bates kale, at least one of those. So I mentioned that last week. This one here is going to stay for a while. I'm going to cut some of this back and maybe reseed that parsley in there. And I'm leaving this basil because I did see some of the, uh, a couple of the little parasitic wasps flying around in my tent. They were actually getting pollen off these. So they must be coming in through the, uh, the vents that I have up here and over there that actually vent to the outside when it gets the humidity too much in this tent. I vent the humidity outside and it opens up a little flapper valve on the outside of the house, like a dryer vent. And uh, they must have came in and they were flying around in here and they were getting some pollen off of this. So I figure what the heck, I'll start feeding them early so they can get out there and take care of the uh, caterpillars and all that stuff that get on my early lettuces for the outdoor gardens. But anyway, so the kale, you can see this kale, we haven't harvested this this week yet. We were eating the salads, so that's when you saw the mid-sized tent Pretty much the lettuce has been decimated in there and I've uh, put all new trays of lettuce with one regrow tray along with the basil. But you can see this this uh, kale here is ready to harvest. We're gonna get quite a few uh, meals off of this. And this is just the Bates kale. And then you have the, uh, the red Russian kale over here that's ready to go. You can see it's got a lot of nice, good growth on these, some big, huge leaves. I mean, for an indoor tent, this is really a really good accomplishment. We're getting these kales because they, you know, they can get pretty good size outside, but we keep them harvested pretty low and they don't ever get their leaves that big. And then here's the white Russian kale. You can see it's really come back after the, uh, the watering issue we had when I went out of town. And uh, you can see back there, it's starting to regrow pretty good. So we'll be getting some harvest off of these kales this week for our meals. And uh, you know, this one will go outside. But uh, what's really cool is see, I've come down here to the lower area. You can see I put a little piece of plastic over the top of our plants here to kind of simulate a little greenhouse. And right now I'm maintaining the temperature at about 78.5 to 79 degrees. And we pop this up. See, we've got our first Michael eggplant right back there. So it's coming up. So that looks like the only sprout I've got so far. That's pretty good for one week and it's a pretty good size little guy. So I'm keeping this, this plastic over the top. And then just keeping the soil moist and letting it germinate. And uh, the tomato plant over here is doing really well. Seems to like the uh, transplant, so we'll let that grow for a while. And then, of course, the poinsettia, it's doing good. We still have the uh, you know cilantro down here and the peppers in the back on those two. And there's the pepper, already the, the poinsettia. It's doing pretty well. I got a new fan to put in here that actually oscillates. As you might remember the one that I had up above up here, it didn't oscillate anymore. It just kind of sat there and blew just straight, straight air. So I wanted to get something that was actually going to blow some air through the tent and uh, pick this one up off of Amazon. It's a pretty nice little one. It's got a little remote control. But that's pretty much it for the grow tent, the large grow tent this week. And uh, next weekend we'll be seeding the tomatoes. So the tomatoes will go in here. And then I'll just stretch that plastic over the top of the tomato plants. And we should have a little bit more germination from the eggplants. So that should be pretty exciting. Getting closer and closer to spring, guys. All right. Well, this has been Brian from PB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again next week. All right, bye.